What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today we have something so, so exciting. I've done this to every single truck I have owned. And you know, I am finally able to purchase one of the best on the market, a premium version of this item. Uh, my first two trucks straight up went to O'Reilly's. Bought the one that was there, it was like it was 29 or 39 bucks, one of the two. But bought the one that was you know, stock shelved at O'Reilly's. And I'm finally in a position where I could buy something that is this nice and I'm super excited for it. And I'm gonna show you guys what it is. We got the Putco Blade LED tailgate light bar. Now some of you guys are gonna be like, what? Now all you guys know, seeing these you know, on trucks that roll down the road, you're like, oh, that's sharp, that's cool. Pretty much for me, that little space in between the tailgate and the bumper, it's a lot of dead space. And to me, it looks, it looks kinda lame, kinda weird, but LED tailgate light bar fills that gap and at the same time creates a crazy cool appearance. The ones I had on my other trucks were not this good like I said. The ones I had on my first two trucks were four function and I finally was able to purchase full five function light bar. Uh, left, right, brake, running and reverse. I just picked this up from Putco and you know I believe it was a couple hundred bucks. Some people are going to be like wow, that's expensive. And like I said, I used to buy the $40 O'Reilly ones and you know, the look of the more expensive ones, look, there's so many more LEDs. It's nice, clean, sharp, bright light. So I decided to actually sack up and pay for this one. The look, it's well worth it. Once once you guys see it on the truck, you're gonna you're gonna agree too. There's a link in the top of the description, like you always know, for you know the products I put on my truck. Top link in the description. Check it out there. I'm I'm gonna be honest. This is my favorite mod to do to any truck. Uh, it may sound dumb, may sound stupid, but just the simplicity of it and how much it changes the look of the you know the back rear end of your truck. It's my favorite thing to do to trucks. So the way this works is pretty much you're gonna plug it into the four pin connector of your truck. However, most new trucks have the four pin wiring on the outside of the bumper. So we're gonna run up to nearest auto store and pick up a four pin wiring harness. And we're gonna hardwire this to the truck. Hands down, my favorite time of the day to drive when the sun's setting, cool night air starts rushing in, sunset, perfect, perfect. You know, driving during the golden hour, some photographers call it. Oh, it's my favorite time to drive. So we came to the local auto zone here and we are gonna go get our trailer wiring and get back home so we can install this tailgate bar. So I think my best option is gonna be this and I'll just cut off the other end. I think if I just cut off the other end, that's perfect amount and it's only five bucks. So I think this is what we're gonna have to go with. However, this one includes 48 inches which is a vehicle four flat. So I think I'm gonna go with that one because I don't have a lot of extra left over. Okay, so back home here, we went with this one. Uh, the part number is 48215 if you guys want this too. Comes with trailer side wiring, but also comes with 48 inches of vehicle side wiring, which means we now have another vehicle side that we can splice into the factory wiring and have underneath the truck. Okay, probably not the most flattering angle, but. So if you can see right here is your is your connector for your trailer wiring. It runs over here, and pretty much all you gotta do is trace it back over here. So by the look, looks of it here, this is it. Simplest way to do this is we're gonna splice into this harness right here and we're gonna run our new extension up and over here because our tailgate bar wiring is gonna come down where the tailgate ends right here. Okay, so I popped the trailer plug out here to see the wiring. Uh, it's labeled on the front here, if you can't see, but it's labeled on the front everything and what everything is to see what wire goes where, what color, so I can match it up in the harness because there are two white browns. So that was pretty much my only confusion. If you guys want the wiring schematic without trying to decipher this yourself, uh, I'll put everything in the description below. I'll type it all out and let you know what wire goes to what. Oh God, but there's two white and browns. Not a clue why they did that but we're going to, uh, I guess we're just gonna test them both and see one's in the center pin of the trailer wiring and the other one's in the bottom left or right. I don't know which one it is. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this um, or what I'm doing. You make two cuts into just the protective part of the wire and then you know a little space in between. And then you're gonna take your razor blade 
and you know slice from this this little cut to the next cut and then unwrap the protective coating and then now you're gonna be able to wrap your wire around this tape it up for each one and then you're gonna be able to tape the whole thing back up as well Okay, so here is the tailgate bar out of the box. As you can see, blade. The kit comes with all these, you know, T-tap connectors, which in my opinion are easy for the novice, but junk. I really don't like these. That's why I do it the way I do it and avoided these with my kit. Now, some people say when you tap into the reverse light on your tail light, you're gonna run into a tail light owl verification on the dash. So everyone says tap into it at the seven pin harness which I found out is the other white and brown wire. And luckily I did, so when I did test it, I did tap into the right wire and the other wire is my reverse. Okay, so they send this with the kit. Only put this where you're putting the light bar mounts. You put this anywhere else, you will mess up your paint. This is going to promote adhesion and not let the brackets fall off. But once it's stuck, it's pretty much stuck. So again, be careful putting it on and only put it where you're gonna put the light bar because if you put it all over the whole underside of this tailgate, you will mess up your paint. Okay, so the next step is to apply the tailgate bar on. We're gonna peel each of the 3M tape and watch how I apply this, especially if you're doing it with one person. As soon as that 3M hits where you rub down with the adhesion promoter, it will stick. So watch how I apply this. You're gonna see how I apply it. The end where the wiring is, all the way down to this end over here. Watch how I gently roll roll the light bar on. This way you won't have any miss, you know, miss sticks, if you will. So all the back is off. Now watch. Watch how I do this. All right, so as you can see, look at that much space there, and over here, this much space here. I'm trying to line it up with this. But we're pretty much all on straight, and we're just gonna connect all these connectors, zip tie it up, and tap into the reverse light. All right, since we're underneath the bumper already, and we have leftover T10 bulbs, we're gonna get under here, take these out, and swap them. These are super, super simple. Here they are. Just turn them, comes out. Look at this, compared to that. Okay, so here's the finalized wiring here. We tapped into the trailer harness. The four pin wires go over here, up into the Putco module, which is behind the bracket here, because as you know, these giant mud tires like to sling water and stuff up here all day long. So the harness is strapped to the bumper mount, the bumper bracket here, and everything is, and the uh, module that's attached to the harness is behind this bracket. All right guys, and there we have it, it's done. It takes a little bit if you wanna do it right, get all the wires and everything hardwired and make it look clean, but that is all part of the game. So, as you can see here, it is installed, the Putco Blade LED tailgate bar. I'm gonna run you through all of the functions of this tailgate bar. So sit back, relax, and see how bright this thing is.
So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope you enjoyed the install. And like I said, if you guys are interested in this tailgate bar, like I said, amazing quality. Our reviews online were crazy. That's why I decided to buy this one. So if you guys are interested in this one too, link is in the top of the description below. I'm gonna say take care. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.